Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Ryan Brochier. Hey everybody. So, first of all, you are so super busy. You have had a lot going on, and I really have a lot of things to talk to you about. So, I promise I will try to not go over on time. But I've got a, I've got quite a few things that I'm really excited about. And and the first one is your paint it ready P. It's phenomenal. I just, I love it. I love everything about it. It's upbeat and it's fun. And there's a lot of things that remind me of Jason Aldean or Rascal Flats. And it's just, it's just awesome. So I want to know, you know, what went into making this EP for you and how has it been the response that you've gotten? The, the EP was, uh, we were about a year and a half through our first album and I really wanted to get some new music out and I had some stuff written and, but my plans did not accommodate for how were we going to get it financed and we Mm -hmm. didn't know how we were going to do it. We had been out on the road for two years playing pretty heavy. And, you know, when you're out on the road as a, you know, a independent artist, uh, on my level where I, where I've been extra money to just record an album doesn't just, uh, isn't just there. You have right. a lot of overhead with your, uh, with your guys, you know, Alan Jackson said it and chasing that neon rainbow, right. uh, half the t- this overhead is killing me half the time I sing for free. So I know that, what that means. But um, the resource that I did have was an incredible fan base. And we were able to find out about crowdfunding, and I Mm -hmm. had heard about it, and people had mentioned it, and some really great artists had done uh, crowdfunding albums like Jody Messina and a couple others that uh, were out there. And I thought, well, why not us? And so that kind of became the, the, the... thought. And what I wanted to do was record a large 12 song album, but I knew with the way that the funding works, if we didn't get all of our goal, we would get nothing. So I scaled it back to make sure that we had enough to record a really nice EP. And we were going to do five songs, but we expanded it to six. And so that was the financial business part of the album. Um, But the um other part of the album uh as far as writing was ongoing but i got the chance to get with my producer uh dan Agee, who plays lead guitar for joe nichols and he mm-hmm. produced my first album and we wanted to do a writing session and i said wouldn't it be cool if we could find a way to co-write a song or two for this album. So we wanted to give it a shot, even though I kind of had all the stuff written and we got together and we had a killer writing session one day where I finished one of his songs. He finished one of mine and he added just a little piece on one that my wife and I had written and it, they turned out great. And they actually added, uh, they actually included the title track to our song. We called it paint it red because of the lyric in Friday night in a small town. We co-wrote that together. And so that kind of made it all seem more real. And then it was time to like, this is the new direction that I'm going. I want to share this. We got the money through Kickstarter. We raised over 20 grand. We put that together with the writing that Dan and I did and my wife did with me and cut one of his songs. And it was just incredible. And it, it was stuff that had been knocking around in my brain for so long. And I really wanted to share it with my fans. Right. And it turned out just even better than I imagined with what uh, we created on Paint It Red. It's great. I'm like, oh, my gosh, this needs to be on every radio station across, you know, the country. It is amazing. Um, I just found myself right away just wanting to listen over and over and over to it and let your redneck out. Oh, my gosh. What an awesome song. That is just so much fun. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. Love it. Love it. Um, that was our. That was kind of our party song off my first album, and that song – built me a ton of new fans Mm -hmm. around the country who just were like, yeah, that was a party song. And, you know, that, that song I wrote with my wife and it was, it was just, that was one of the first ones that got us started, you know? 
and Absolutely. we're real proud of that one. Absolutely, yeah. And I mean, all all of your songs are great, you know, but that one, I will say, it's just, there's just something about it that just makes you want to unleash a little bit, you know, and I just, I, I absolutely love it. Um, now, one of the things that I saw that I'm so excited for you is that you're opening for the Swan Brothers on February 26th in, o- in Ohio. Have, now, have you ever met these guys? I have not, but some of my fans <laughs> have met them, yeah. and my fans have reported back to me that they were absolutely awesome guys. Oh. So I can't wait to do the show with them. Well, I, I've, I've actually had the honor to interview them, and um, I'm just I'm they know they like they know us now, but they are so flipping funny, and they're great, but they're down to earth, and they're just. Just you're just gonna have the best time, and then of course your fans and all of all of their fans that are going for them too. They're gonna be in su- in for such a treat. I'm so jealous. I wish I was going to that show because I know <laughs> I know that it's just everybody's gonna be in for the best night of their lives. They have no idea if they don't know who you are when they go there. They have no idea what a treat it's gonna be for them. And I'm so excited. And I just I wish you the best on that. And I wanted to talk about that first because I thought you know <laughs> there's just it's you're just gonna have the best time, and I'm I'm really I'm just so jealous. Um, th- it's but, gonna be a blast, and 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 the venue we're at is is a first class venue. Mm-hmm. I've got to open. I got to do a show with Chris Cagle at this venue, and um, nice. in Ohio, and uh, of course I've got it's close enough to my hometown of Oxford, Ohio, for mm-hmm. some of my fans to make the journey, and uh, and of course new fans that we've made. It, it's gonna be right. a blast. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. And, you know, you talked about Joe Nichols a a little bit ago. um, And I saw on, I think it was your YouTube page. It might've just been one of your social media pages, but there was a shout out on a radio station from from Joe Nichols to what was that like? Cause I, you know, a lot of fans adore Joe. I, I adore Joe, but as an artist or, you know, for myself, when somebody compliments my work or says something, I'm just, I'm always taken back by it. So what was that like for you hearing that from him? Well, the opportunity came uh, kind of, there's a little background to where that came from Mm -hmm. is Joe kind of, his band played on my first album, basically his whole road band. And I got the chance to do three different shows with Joe, and I and I got the chance to start to to know him a little bit, mm-hmm. become friends. And he actually was doing a show in Cincinnati on a night when I was playing a show across town, and he came to my show, and and I absolutely could not believe it. Wow! He walks right up in the crowd. We had a packed house. Walks right up in front of me, and looks at me and I forgot the words to what I was saying. I was cracking up. I couldn't believe that he came to my show and he, and he hung out in the VIP room and stayed for the rest of my show. And we got the opportunity to talk shop a little bit and just hang out, you know, cause he had, uh, the other times that I've been there, we were both doing a show together and there's, there's, a, you know, not as much time to relax when you're right. out doing a show as you might think. And, uh, so that was awesome. And then, I got a call from a radio DJ friend of mine that uh, Joe was up in New York doing a show at Bethel mm-hmm. Woods, which is the home of original Woodstock. And he said, you're not going to believe this, but uh, I asked Joe who his favorite artists were, and he mentioned you as one of his favorite new artists. You can, yeah. you could have knocked me over with a feather. I mean, it was just, wow. Joe's been a, a, one of my heroes for a long time. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a huge fan of traditional country music, and Absolutely. Joe kind of carries that torch in today's country music world. He does. So for him to give me that shout out was, was, was a super honor and, and something I'll never never forget and uh will always appreciate oh absolutely and you know um not not to take away from from you and your interview here (laughs) but um joe is really a nice guy i've seen it um i haven't actually gotten to talk to him i've been really close to him but i've watched him interact with fans and he's just an all-around nice 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 guy i've never heard anything bad and so when i heard that i was like you know what that is such a class act right there you know i just i was really excited for you and it just seems like so many positive things 
things are happening for you and, you know, Billboard magazine naming you the top artist to watch, you know, or top 10 artists to watch. I just think, wow, that's just all so, so great. And, but your talent, I mean, it's, it's your talent and your personality that's gotten you where you are. And you are so talented. You really, you're so good. And I'm just like, okay, everything is going to happen for you because I just, we need more country artists like you playing, you know, everywhere. Um, I, I definitely think that you offer what, what country music is kind of missing right now, you know, and um, there's not that many of you in, in my eyes, you know, that, that are around and making this great phenomenal music that makes everybody just want to, you know, want to jump in and sing and groove and, and you're, you're so good at it. So um, what keeps you motivated to, to keep doing this? what keeps me motivated and believe me there are tough times in this mm-hmm. business it's it's uh an unforgiving business it is mm-hmm. tough but there is nothing that you know does that makes you feel better being on a stage with a crowd that's into it and digging it and singing your music and having fun with you and just seeing that having that interaction on stage, performing live, and then to have the opportunity in a meet and greet to to meet them, talk to them mm-hmm. and and you know, and hear their story of why your music is important to them. Right. And and, you know, I write almost everything that I have on my albums. So when I write it, you know, I'm writing it from the heart. So when I see someone else that that does something for them and, and gives them something it makes me feel incredible. And, and so that's the reward of hearing it back from the fans uh, right. is what keeps you driving on through the tough times. Absolutely. That's great. And you interact with your fans on social media a lot. I, I've been watching and um, I, I, I don't remember the woman's name, but somebody was asking you about old Papa Lou's and I'm assuming it's all yes. food. What is it? Cause it, it just, I was immediately intrigued. In Petoskey, Michigan. Okay. There's a uh, there's a station in Sheboygan, Michigan, Big Country Hits 102.9, okay. and early on in my career, they brought me up to do a St. Jude show, and that was my first experience to northern Michigan, and I played a St. Jude show to maybe 50 to 70 people in a mm-hmm. kind of an intimate setting, just by myself. People were singing album cuts off my first album that I had only had out for, you know, maybe a few months. Wow. And the people up there had downloaded on iTunes, knew the words, and were singing them back to me. And that was just amazing to me. Wow, yeah. And so that began my relationship with them. And then I did another show for St. Jude a couple years later, and we did it at Papa Lou's. And it's a pizza place in downtown Petoskey. And a really awesome, eclectic place. They have great food. And uh, we had a, a packed house that night and, and did a uh, little St. Jude benefit. Uh, on behalf of uh, Big Country Hits 102.9 and uh, my fans up there, I've got a lot of fans in that area and they'll hit me up on uh, Twitter or Facebook every now and then so I'm always I I did an interview with them the other day and they thought that I was in town and I I did a phone interview so uh, they were I think that was a way of saying man I wish we could have saw you Right. and and I wish I could have been there but uh, definitely it's become one of my favorite places to go. Okay. I was like, you know, I hadn't heard of it. And I was like, okay, I need to know all about this place because it's very intriguing. Um, And then (laughs) there was, and you're probably going to laugh at me because I'm kind of crazy. I always look for things on, on the artist's, you know, webpage or something that is just different that kind of makes me go, huh, what is that? And you have a picture on your website and it's of you in this, big and I'm sorry but it's a big ugly fish what yeah. is that what kind of fish is that I was it's like a, oh my god it's a king salmon and oh. we go up uh, I, I've a friend of mine took me years ago and we try to go every year if we can mm-hmm. it's harder and harder but I like to fly fish I've become a uh, kind of obsessed with it actually okay um, but um that there's a salmon run in uh baldwin michigan and i won't give up my i guess i gave up too much already oh, I'm okay. to tell people about this spot 
Okay. But anyway, there's this spot where we go fishing and uh, we fly fish for salmon and it's just an exhilarating thing because that fish is probably over 30 pounds and uh, they jump out of the river and you fight them for like 45 minutes to an hour sometimes and more often than not they break off so when you actually get one in it's it's an incredible experience so I had to put uh, you know I, I know I'm about music and music business but I like to share a little bit about who I am and mm-hmm. fishing's fishing kind of my thing. No, oh, it's awesome. I love fishing, but you know, California <laughs> um we you know, I go up I go up north and you know, we we uh catch a hybrid fish and it's a cross between a rainbow trout and salmon and it's called an alper. Steelhead? Oh what is it? Alper. I have to catch one. Yeah, and there, I mean, I don't eat fish because I'm allergic, but I love, love to fish. I grew up with my dad fishing. So when I saw that, I was like, okay, I have to ask because I have never seen that fish before. I don't know what it is, um, but that's great. Oh, my gosh, how fun. So are you going awesome. to you gonna get to go this, this coming year? Are you going to get to go and, and do that? We, uh, I've, I've kind of gotten into trout fishing because the mm-hmm. salmon thing is more of a special time of year and it's normally in the fall um tour schedules start booking up so we kind of look for times to get away but uh what would be awesome is to hook up with a big concert somewhere in michigan about the time of the salmon run and uh slip away with a fly rod and go catch some we'll see what happens absolutely um I'll be on a river somewhere as soon as I can. I can promise you that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, you know what? And I'm sorry, but it's so therapeutic. It's just, it is such a great way to unwind and to just be yourself and to relax and not worry about life stressors. I love fishing. I think it's great. It's been far too long since I've actually been fishing, um, you know, but oh my God, I, I, I'm jealous. I, I wish you all the best with that. And I'm sure Thank you're, you. I'm sure you're going to have, you know, a, a great time figuring out when you get to go, but um, yeah. there's, there's a big game tomorrow night too. I heard you're a, heard you're a Cincinnati Bengals fan. Yes. Um, I learned a lesson Many, many times over the years about talking smack about how good my Bengals are and and uh, that they're going to win, especially against mm-hmm. Pittsburgh. So I'm going to not be boastful or anything, no, but I'm, I'm a big Bengals fan, mm-hmm. and that has created a tremendous amount of heartache over the years. <laughs> uh, I'm a Reds fan, too, but it's Cincinnati sports, and you're just not going to win championships very often. So right. um, the last one I can remember, I was, uh, you know, doing the Bengals around the Super Bowl, the 49ers beat them, Joe Montana, it was not good. Are you from California? I am. Are you a Niners fan? Um, you know, I was, but really, I don't really know anything about football. I just don't know enough about sports. I'm a music fan. That's that's my gig. Um, uh, I won't hold that against you. <laughs> yeah, I'm learning. I'm, I'm definitely learning. And um, the, the co-founder of this magazine is determined to teach me more about football. And he's a big Steelers fan, which is why I had to bring this question. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. We're, we're, well, <laughs> okay, I may have to cancel this interview. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, okay. Steelers are awesome, and uh, to be a fan of them probably has brought a lot of people great joy. I see, uh, even here in Tennessee, I see Steelers stuff all over mm-hmm. the place. The Steelers nation is uh, loud and proud, uh, and that just comes from years of winning and winning. And Ben mm-hmm. Roethlisberger, I went to Miami University of Ohio. Mm-hmm. That's my hometown, and I went to college there. Nice. He was in college. We overlapped while uh, we were in college. I never met him while I was there, but he did dance on my speakers. Uh, I used to play every Sunday night at country night at a bar there, and he uh, would party and would dance on my speakers. So oh, I still fun. have the speakers. I'm going to burn on my feet if he wins tomorrow. Nice. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> Just kidding. Good day. That's all I got to say. Good day. <laughs> there you go. You hashtagged that on your social media, which is yeah. why I asked. I was like, oh, I have I have a great question. So, oh, my gosh. Well, thank you so much. I am so excited, you know, for everything that you have going on. And, you know, I'm so glad that you chose to do the crowdfunding stuff. Kickstarter um, is a great way for artists 
you know, to get their music out there and to get the fans involved. Um, Ty Herndon is the, the artist that I actually first, like, saw it from, and I know many artists have used it. Um, and Ty is an artist that when, you know, gosh, I, I, I pretty much, my high school years, you know, was all about Ty Herndon and, and Wade Hayes, and um, they're just, I, I adore them know. both. So when I saw when I saw him do that, I was like, what is this? And it's such a great idea and what a good way to connect fans to the artist. So, and kudos to you for, for reaching for your dreams and just doing it. And, um, yeah, you know, I, we just released a new single and we're going to, you know, that's for all the people who put the money to make this album happen. The success of this single is, is directly from their efforts and, we're excited to see. We just popped it off this week called Spin Me, and mm-hmm. I can't wait to see what it does. Oh, it's, it's it, well, it's a fantastic song. Um, like this one, this one needs to be on the radio ASAP. Um, I, I, we were listening to it earlier over and over, you know, today. So I just, I'm super excited. I know it's going to do really, really well. And if there's anything else we can do to help promote you, you just, you know, anything new you guys have coming or you have coming up, let us know so we can, you know, help keep you out there on the forefront because you really are super talented and the country music world needs more people like you, but definitely your music is just stellar and I can't wait to share this with everybody. Your interview is going to come out next week. So awesome. super excited. I, I cannot wait for everybody to get to know you. Thank you so much for taking the time to You're talk with very us. very welcome. And thank you for, for reaching out to me and for making this happen. And no problem. Um, I appreciate it very much. And uh, you guys have a great one. You too. We will talk to you soon. Absolutely. All right. Have a bye great bye. night. Missy. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.